Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue with the company intranet, building in PowerShell and against SharePoint, of course. Now we're at the step that each department should have its own theme. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's jump over to that. There it is. Yeah, there's the code. And here is the SharePoint site. Now we have all the subsites. They're ready, but they don't have their own theme yet. So let's go in to the UI Fabric Theme Designer to do that. I'm just going to refresh the page here so that we get the default like it looks. So now let's just do a primary color. I'm not going to put a lot of work into this. I'm just going to do a green one, export that. In PowerShell here, the, the code that I want, Control A to copy. And then let's go in here and create a new function. And that should be here. That should be done once. Let's do it here after we've created the department subsites. So I'm going to put a new function there, uh, add uh, themes, because this is going to be a, quite a lot of code. So we definitely want the ability to be able to hide it away, which is one good reason to use functions. So now we are just going to declare a variable for the sales theme. And that's going to be all of that. And then we are going to add that theme. Add PMP tenant theme and I'm just going to name that theme identity that's going to be the name of the department sales in this case and then the palette is going to be this whole sales theme right then let's do those those two rows now we can do that again with the next theme and we're going to replace there that bit and put instead the support theme support uh, theme and of course we need to actually do some changes there also so let's close out of that select another color for support let's have them be red export that theme powershell copy that whole thing into there and here's the support theme that's what we want support theme that's what we're going to call the variable so it all makes sense there it is a lot of code here but we're getting it generated, so maybe not so much. That's the support theme there. All right, here we go. Minimize this bit. And now we have the production theme. That's what we're working on there. And then we want to do a production theme also. And let's make that orange. There we go, export that. There it is. And that's the production theme. So we want to put there. Not so complicated, really. That's what we're doing. We're just adding those themes. And as you see, the command list is add PNP tenant theme. So this gets added to the whole tenant everywhere. It's going to be available everywhere. That also means to run this code, this particular code, you need to be a SharePoint admin. If you're not, that's not going to work. And then you have to do it manually or something because this is the supported way of doing themes. There are other ways to do things like CSS files, but that's another story. Now we're doing themes. So let's just run this whole bit here. And we can first introduce this function to PowerShell like that. And then we call it by adding just add themes. And now we can run that single row. And now we're adding an, oh, I forgot the inverted parameter. Stop the code from running first. All right, let's add that one also, because none of these are inverted. So let's do that. So we'll do the is inverted, and that's going to be false. And that's going to be the same for all of them, of course. There we go. And there we go. So now we can run all of that. Run. And now we're adding the themes. And let's put in a nice welcome or message that everything went well also, right? So themes added, great. And now they're already added, so let's, we won't see that message right now, of course, but we can just check it that we have them. Get PMP tenant theme. Now you see we have the three themes there as defined. Yep, that looks right. All right. 
Now we just have to add those themes, and we're doing that here. When we're fixing the subsites, then we can just set the theme there. And we do set PMP web theme. We name the theme the same as the department, so we can just do the identity, the theme, the parameter, that's a default one, and just do depth there. So that should work. Let's just try this now. We're not going to add the apps again now. As for testing here, we're just going to comment all of those out so that they're not being run. And now we just run that bit. Now it's fixing that. Now let's go to refresh here. And there we have the right theme. And let's do support. And there we have it. Excellent. All right, so we have the themes. Let's see if everything works now. I think we need to start over a bit here because something is wrong with the navigation, but let's fix that now. And let's do a remove all first. Remove all. Now we can't find that subsite, of course, so we need to connect back to the root site. Let's add that there. Otherwise, it can't work because we were working with a subsite before. So let's try it again. Remove all, run the code, removing subsite sales. From there we go. Now it's everything. All right, great. We forgot one thing that we need to remove, and that is, of course, the uh, tenant themes. So let's do that here also. Remove PNP tenant theme, and the theme that we, the identity of the theme is the department name again. It's good to be consistent when naming things. So let's comment that out for now, and then we just make a loop here again and remove all the tenant themes. Now all those should be gone again. Get PNP tenant theme, there we go. No, we don't have any, good, all right. So let's run all of this now. First of all, I'm gonna save it. Themes, that's what we're working on. Now let's try it out and see how that works. Now we're back to square one, just checking that. Yep, that is gone, good as it should be. So now we should add the apps, we should add the navigation and all that. So now everything is as it should be. We save that script again. And now we run it. Creating subsite sales. Yeah, that progress that we took some extra time to put in, that actually makes it much more pleasant and less worries about the output. We actually see that something's happening. That is good. There we go. It's creating all that. Good, good. Creating apps. And now we're almost done here. All right, so here we got a little error message here. Format default, the collection has not been initialized. This is actually on the very last thing that's happening here because we're done with the support site, right? This is the loop. And then we're going back and connecting to the root URL. So the very last thing that we're doing here is creating the navigation node. That's what's failing. And I think that's a timeout. If we run this again now, you'll see that it actually works. So there you see, it works now that we run the code. But if we run it in sequence, it doesn't run. So I'm just going to do a five second sleep before here. And that usually helps. Start sleep and just do seconds five. That usually saves that kind of problem. So now we have all of that running. And let's check if we got the themes and everything up and running there. Refresh. There we go, pedaling is there also. Let's go into production. And production is orange, sales is green, and um, support is red. Yes. So then we have implemented themes also in this, as was the step in the instruction here on the PowerPoint. So the next one, we're gonna create a YouTube video and insert it, actually we're gonna choose a YouTube video and insert it into the first page of the sales department. Thank you for watching this demonstration.